morning. It's all wet and yucky today. So I don't know. I actually kind of like this weather. I like it when it rains. It, um, I don't know. I like the sound of the rain. So I like the sound of rain. Oh, my seat's all screwy. Put it back more. No, oh, more comfy. I got a little refrigerator for my place and had to stuff it in the Volvo here. No, I don't feel right. Okay, no, no. Here we go. So, um, I finally saw one on Craigslist that I could afford and I was really happy about it. So, uh, I got it yesterday and they delivered it right away. It's the easiest appliance purchase I think I've ever made in my whole entire life. I uh, saw it. I called this place that I guess they're, you know, a little shop or something. And it was reasonable, reasonably priced. I paid for it. They delivered it like, gosh, I think like an hour later, it was there at my work. And the guy helped one of the boys at the shop put it in the back of my little Volvo station wagon. And I was, couldn't be more pleased. Little 10 cubic foot um, refrigerator in nice condition, you know. It's just missing one drawer. Um, but where I work, they can actually make me a drawer, so who cares? And, you know, I could probably, I could probably order one. I'll look at ordering one. Then it would be the same. I don't know. I bet I could order one. It's a replacement part, so, uh, you know, whatever. Or I could make one. I've done it before. I know how to fabricate, so I could, um, I could fabricate a drawer. Give me something to do at work. Um, other than work, I guess. So, I was struggling to think, well, what do I want to talk about today? Um, one of the things that I find is, you know, a pestering problem in my life. One of the things where I'm not growing up is what I want to talk about. So, I guess the topic is going to be, you know, when do we grow up? You know, when do we really, truly grow up and become mature people who can do all the things that our parents told us to do, you know, get up on time and go to school and do your homework and, you know, you have to learn to do this on time because in a job they're not going to give you, you know, uh, a makeup or whatever. And uh, all those things are true, but I never, I don't think I really grew up, grew up, you know, and I, and I actually find that the more I talk with my friends, we all kind of feel this way. Not all of us, but to varying degrees, we have these little things that hold us back or are just part of who we are and we accept it even though we try to do better every day. Uh, so, I don't know, I guess we could call them weaknesses or character flaws or all these things. But honestly, they're part of who we are and we do the best we can and we don't always succeed. And I think it's okay to admit to ourselves we'll try harder every day and not lie to ourselves and say we're trying harder every day when we're not. Uh-oh. Uh oh, this got washed out. And I'm going really slow. Well, let's see if the all-wheel drive goes slow. Oh, it feels good. Oh, it feels fine. Oh, we're slow and don't, st don't get stuck. I should have gone faster. Whoops. It's okay though. I think we're out of it. It's a serious mud bog. Um, oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, you know, I have a lot of respect for this car. Um, the all wheel drive is really good. Um, it's kind of connected front and rear. So they don't, they're not really very independent. So there's always the front and the rear going. And I've had pickups where there was a um, differential in between the front and rear. And so either the front or the rear could go independently and then even only one side, you could get one tire only, you know, and you'd get stuck. Um, they're big and heavy. This is not heavy. And it seems very sure-footed. It almost feels like the, I don't know, I don't think it has limited slip between the left and right and I'm assuming that there's some kind of a full-time all-wheel drive front to back because they say you have to change all four tires at once because it doesn't like different tire sizes. It's bad for it, so I don't know. But it kind of got me through the mud hole, didn't it? So, yay, Volvo. 
Good job. My sweet ride. My sweet little ride. Anyway, all these little character flaws that we put up against ourselves, we don't like the negative terms of it. I mean, yeah, we could all be better and all that stuff. Let's kind of dive into some of these things. Like, getting to work on time. That's that's the first thing in your day. And I, I struggle with it. Some people do, some people don't. I do. Um, I mean, I'm kind of a typical Libra in this respect. Um, I don't know if that's just a Libra thing, but I've been told it might be. So I kind of think, yeah, you know, maybe it's kind of typical. Um, I get up on time relatively. I hit the snooze button once today. Got up on what I thought was relatively good time. I went to go take my pills, and they're in a desk drawer in front of my computer. And of course, you know, Facebook's open. And well, I want to see if anyone sent me anything. I'm not a huge Facebook, you know, participant, but I do. You know, sometimes when I make a post, I'm, <laughs> I want to know what people think. Nobody saw anything and nobody said anything. So it's like, okay, fine, that makes it simple. Then I thought, oh, gee, I'll go take a look at what's going on on my YouTube deal. And there were some nice comments. Oh, my gosh, and thank you for the comments. Um, I see more subscribers. Thank you for thumbs upping the video. Thank you for subscribing. Um, thank you for the wonderful comments. I love it. It's so nice. Um, one person commented uh, that she really liked my warning about overdosing on estrogen when I nearly, you know, took myself out. Um, and, and that's a very good thing that resonates with me. It tells me, you know, people are catching this and, it, you know, maybe that's helping someone and that's what I want. I want it to be able to be useful and helpful. So, um, there was another about self-harm that I, honestly, I wasn't entirely certain about, but I do get it. So, I think the comment said, um, something about self-harm, but that's what furniture dollies are for. And, uh, and I thought about it and thought, yeah, you know, in a way that's totally true. Last night I brought this refrigerator home and it's a little one. It's not super heavy, but it's still a refrigerator. I'm going to find a better route through here. It's getting muddy. Um, I'll just go up on the side of the... Um, okay, that worked. Um, and I thought at like one o'clock in the morning, I'm like, I'm going to get this refrigerator upstairs by myself on this wet staircase. Yeah, right. You know? So I got it to the first step and I started tugging on it and I'm like, this is not going to work. Number one, I'm not strong enough. Two years of estrogen and I've lost my strength. Uh, so that's how that goes. But it was not a smart maneuver either. It's like, this doesn't have to be. I'll just put it under the deck right here. Nobody's going to disturb it. Nobody's around. I live in the hills. There's nobody here. So, no big deal. Let's just leave it strapped to the furniture dolly. And, you know. and so, I read that comment this morning about hurting yourself. That's what a furniture dolly is for. And I thought, gosh, I almost did exactly that last night. How funny is that? You know, I guess it wouldn't be funny if I hurt myself. So, the apt comment. Good comment. Right on point. Really good. Whoever left that one, I liked it. Actually, I liked a couple of yours. Comment more. I want more comments. They're good ones. They're very constructive and um, give me good feedback. I like it. So do more of that. Like the video, you know, and subscribe. I love seeing the subscribers. Good job. And, uh, you know, if you do subscribe, click that bell so that you can see the alerts when I post or do something. So. Um, I did kind of spend, I don't know, probably 20 or 20 to 30 minutes on Facebook, just fiddling around and looking at things and then, and then YouTube and inside that same time period. And, um, I had taken my vitamins and I needed to move on, you know, so I am about 20 minutes behind schedule, but my schedule, I had accelerated for myself to get more done today. So it's not like a required schedule. It's just my schedule. And again, last night, you know, I have weaknesses. I went binge-watched with a friend. So I went to Dad's place, 
and binged watched um, the Santa Clarita Diet. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Netflix has got some good series. I don't have my stuff hooked up in the loft because uh, I need a better, um, what do you call it, a better television connection thing. So, and I don't have it. It is what it is. And it, it was so funny. And I kept watching it, watching it. And again, I realized it was getting really late. And it takes me an hour to get home. So, gosh darn it. You know, it's 12 midnight. And I realized i got to go home, you know. And I just want to hang out with Dad and, you know, watch more, binge watch more of this show. And I said, i got to be responsible. So, he kicked me out. Um, he's good at you know, being a responsible adult, you know, I suppose that's why he's my dad, so, it was, um, it was fun, though, watching that, so I struggle in the morning, if I touch my phone, okay, phones, come on, you know, somebody needs to lock my phone away until I get to work or something, um, and I know I have friends who say the same thing, like, oh, I got myself playing with my phone, and I was, you know, sitting in the parking lot before I went to work, and another hour went by, and it's like, yeah, I get it. You know, I mean, that's such a pain in the tail. And, uh, you know, and we're all adults. I mean, my goodness, we are adults. There's no two ways about it. And we are still struggling with the same things we did when we were 12. Uh, not, you know, getting our stuff done, not being diligent sometimes, not scheduling well. You know, getting involved in something else and spending time with that when we're supposed to do something else. And I notice when my stress goes up, I look for those escapes. I look for those things where I can go fritter away my time and, you know, get my mind off my worries and stuff. Honestly, we need to tackle those things. We need to tackle them head on. And then go do the things that we want to do, just like our parents told us. I mean, they were right. Some of us have told our kids the same things. I told my kids the same things, you know. Get those things done, and then go do the things you want. And then they fritter away at the things that need to get done, and then it's time to go to bed. It's like, well, gosh, you know. I'm not any better, but what do I do? What advice do I have for my kids? I don't know. I don't know. If you have some advice, by all means, leave some comments on that when I need them. Give Jackie some advice on this one. My goodness, I could use it. Anyway, all that being said, uh, being an adult is not an easy thing these days. There's so many responsibilities that are more than we were used to or more, more than our parents were used to. Um, simplifying your life is so important, uh, but I'm finding it difficult. It's, I'm kind of trapped in what I'm doing with my career and, you know, I've got responsibilities and loans I have to pay and surgery cost and higher medical cost and, you know, all of the things that I'm doing require all of the things that I need to do at work. So as much as I'd like a new career, maybe at, you know, Kaiser or something, I'd love to do something medical. It, I don't think initially it would pay very much. It certainly wouldn't pay what my position gives me now, so. I don't know. I don't know about paying $50,000 for school for a couple years while I'm transitioning and doing all these other things and super busy. That doesn't seem to make a ton of sense either. It's a tough one. Do you stay in your career and just keep going forward the best you can? Do you beat your brains out driving Uber and Lyft? Because it seems like that's not exactly a get rich quick scheme. In fact, it's a get rich so slow scheme that really doesn't even pay as much as minimum wage here where I live. So uh, that's not good. But you can do it at your own pace when you want to. So that's kind of good. It's kind of like just an extra money thing. A little. A little extra money. Not a lot. Just a little. Like pay the car payment that you have the car so you can drive Lyft and Uber. I don't get it. I guess you have a nicer car to drive all the time. Hey, I love my little Volvo. It's paid off. It's mostly reliable. And it's fine for me, so. 
I don't need much. I'm low maintenance with stuff and high maintenance with love. So, I don't know why I even bother saying that. So, those are the things that I've struggled with. I know that a lot of you do, and I'd love to see comments about it. It'd be really interesting to see what kind of solutions people have. So, kick them up. Hey, remember to subscribe. I got stuff coming up. So, what is it? Uh, uh, next month, the very beginning of next month, I've got another consultation. The end of this month, I've got bottom surgery class. That's going to be neat. Meet with the surgeons and talk about bottom surgery and the social worker, I guess, and a psychologist so they can make sure I'm not loopy, I guess. Um, those are the things I can think of. Then, of course, you know, five or six months out, probably June or July, is vocal VFS surgery. Then, you know, several months down the road from there, there will be FFS. I am really looking forward to FFS. It is such a game changer, so that's neat. I'm going to go to electrologist, the electrologist on Thursday and Saturday this week, just like I did last week. Lots of forward ground is happening there. It's really positive. Um, I do have to have stubble more often throughout that period, but getting that first full rip across the chin and up the sides of the jaw, I mean, that's going to happen a lot quicker, and I'm really looking forward to it. So it's one of those things where I'm learning that I can go and just meditate, even though, yeah, it's it's painful and stuff. You don't know. I don't like saying that it's painful. It is something that you can tolerate. You know, obviously, I go for four hours, and I don't put the numbing cream or anything on my face. I just, you know, a little Tylenol uh, before I go and do my best seems to work okay so that's what I do I like that I feel less dysphoric when I work on things like that like this morning felt pretty good a um, little bit of breakout but nothing that can't be managed um, it's pretty typical you break out a little bit around the jaws and stuff I hope somehow that rings with you that there's some resonance there that you realize you know you're not alone in this stuff we all have the same kind of problems and issues, and I don't want you to get down on yourself about things that you consider to be, you know, negative traits or character flaws. They don't have to be labeled that way. They can just be part of who we are as humans, you know. We're people. People do these things. You can be better some days, and you can have some days you're not so good. But if you're striving to be better, and you do see progress throughout your life, and you're doing a good thing. So pat yourself on the back for doing something. You don't have to pat yourself on the back just because you did some huge milestone. Anything. You know, recognize that you're doing what you need to do and you're, you're moving. Moving is the most important thing. Just don't stop. No stagnation. So feel better. Take care of yourself. You are not alone. If you need a resource and someone to lean on and there's no one near you, there is transgenderpulse.com with a wonderful group of people who will listen. They also have therapists in a listing that are in your area. You can search the therapists by location. I did that and it worked beautifully. And if you're really struggling and you just don't know what to do and it's getting scary, use the suicide hotline. You know, you don't have to be on the edge of ending it all to just call and saying, I am struggling so badly and I need to talk they'll talk to you so have yourself a productive week and I'm going to do the same I'm off to work so take care of yourself know that I I very much care that this is difficult that you're struggling with your ideas your identity your transition your finalizing your surgeries your you know after life that you're still cobbling together you know after all trans is done I get it I'm there with you I care about you and I want you to know it's going to work out one way or another. Just keep moving. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next time. Bye.